Hi guys, it's Stuart here from Airshow World and uh, thanks for uh, joining me on this tutorial. Today I'm going to try and explain some of the features about um, ProScan. You may remember if you've seen some of my other utori tutorials, especially for the BCT15X, I was using ProScan. Okay, so ProScan, here we go. And um, here it is up and running. Lots of different tabs, and the, it's a very powerful piece of um, software. Yeah. In this tutorial, I'm not going to explain how to uh, connect the COM ports and everything else and the cable that, that, that's required. If you guys do want to know about that, drop me a message in the comments, right, and I will do another tutorial for that, okay? But um, today, Basically, I'm going to explain about uh, the remote scanner over IP. Right, what's that all about then? Okay, what it means is you could say have your um, scanner running via ProScan, say at home. You could have that running all day at home and you could be out and about at another location and you'd, you would be able to um, connect to your scanner and listen to it um, as if you were sitting right next to your radio. Okay, so it's a way of being able to remotely control your radio and listen to it. Um, so let's um, have a look at how to um, set this up in the first instance it's really easy click on all the tabs across there you see click on remote scanner over IP it's already picked up my scanner um, I'm just doing this as a demonstration I'm only scanning one particular um, system at the moment um, here I would suggest you put a password in here okay you can select how many connections, how many people could connect. Yeah, you can publish the actual this to the outside world. So if you want to do that, you could give it a name. Here, you could select a country. I um, have to be honest, um, I hide myself um, in a different country. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to say where, but um, people that know me will know where I am. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, um, England. Yeah. And pick whatever, I don't know, location you are. Yeah, and you could publish a description. Okay. And then you would just click on start and what that would then do that would send it out to the um, outside world and all these guys out here would be able to see you okay what I'm going to show you now is the um, the free piece of software okay so let's just minimize that and I'm going to launch the client software don't forget the link to take you to the uh, website to download um, both pieces of software are in the description of this video okay so let's have a look what we've got here okay so you click on the tab remote scanner over IP yeah here you click on update and what that's doing that's all those people there that's everybody that is sharing their scanner okay because they've clicked on publish you remember in this one here there we go the option to publish server yeah if you click that you'll be visible to all these people here there we go. Remember, this is the client software. Um, so all these nice, kind people here um, are sharing their radios. Now, if we click on this one, you notice it tells you here what type of radio it is. 
is a 15x but um, somebody here has a digital scanner running so let's have a look and I listen to that so click on that click on start in a moment that will connect to this um, particular scanner here here we go that should all come active in just a moment let's have a look I'm hoping he's got yes he has yeah we're in okay so that's scanning through and when that lands, that lands on something obviously yeah you'll be able to hear his particular um, radio okay I probably have to okay we'll stop that let's have a look um, there's a guy here with a 15x so double click on that yes that's correct click on start there we go notice the um, the look of the radio will change there we go and that, that's that guy there yeah so in other words all over the world you can view all of these radios <coughs> Now, if yours was in the list, you would um, be in here somewhere, okay? But that's if you want to um, show, okay? If you don't, you take the tick out. And then what you would do is you'd click on that button there. I'm not going to click it because I don't want everybody to know my IP. But if you click that, your IP would come up just there. And what you would do is you would run this client. You would type in your IP address there or even the name that um, you gave your um, scanner. Okay, And then you click on start and you, you would be able to connect to your radio from your remote location okay but there's always a but isn't there and um, the, this is the uh, one of the important things if you're um, at your home location you're going through a, a router yeah a broadband router what you would have to do is you would have to put um, the um, IP address of your local computer so the computer or laptop that your ProScan is running on you would have to find out what the IP address is of that and um, I'm sure you guys know how to do that it's simple enough it's a CMD command so you'd hit command prompt yep you'd let that run and then just here you would type I P C O N F I G yep you type it IP config and then you'd hit the enter key that would give you the um, IP address of your local computer okay then if you were using a router you would bring up an internet page and you type in the IP address of your router normally they are something like 192.168.1.1 um, that's um, with some others are 192.168.1.0.1 um, okay and then what that would do that would take you to the um, login screen for your uh, router configuration and in there um, there will be um, a tab uh, and what you're looking for is one that says DMZ demilitarized zone okay so in the DMZ what you would do you would put the IP address that you've just found from the um, 
from the command prompt that I showed you so you'd put that IP address of the computer that this is using into the DMZ what that will do that will allow this program even though it's set in the firewall it will allow it to go to the outside world okay and also for you to be able to connect back to so without doing that you will not be able to get to your um, scanner okay so that's an important step just remember to put the DMZ into um, your router and really um, that's about it Bob's your uncle really and um, yeah Bob's the guy that um, actually um, makes this um, software yeah, um, I love it I really do it's a fantastic way to um, control your scanner um, via computer you can access it and um, also um, you've got the beauty as I said the full version has the client as well and remember the client version that's the one that actually um, allows you to connect um, from anywhere and here we go I just normally click that there to put them all in uh, order of country and then just select on any that you're interested right I'm going to uh, leave you guys to have a play meanwhile I'm going to have a listen to um, some from um, United States um, some digital ones yes um hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, I hope it was straightforward enough and um, please leave if you want to leave comments in the comment section yeah by all means do long as they're um, not too um, nasty <laughs> you'd be surprised at some of the uh, comments we get sometimes but um, most of them are, are, are very nice most people are very good um, also I will be adding lots more tutorials for um, other scanning related topics and uh, anything to do with uh, my hobby of aviation um, talking of which um, on Airshow World we have over now um, 400 different um, videos uh, mostly with aircraft um, air shows um, low flying aircraft um, if you subscribe um, don't forget to select the option that says get notifications if you select that option you will always be um, updated via email and you'll find out when we have the uh, new videos out and um, yep I really appreciate you watching thanks very much indeed have yourself a good day thank you bye bye now